MS-13 is a very dangerous Latino gang run, run by the US government. And that doesn't really stand for Mara Salvatrucha, but for Mason or MS. Just as when you see the number 13, they should ring a bell, very loud. Osiris was cut into 13 parts and on Friday the 13th of October 1307, a few Templars were burnt at the stakes and out of the Templars rose the Masons. Here you can see the uh, the pyramid just like uh, at the, on the dollar. Well, it's all about the dollar actually. And where the all-seeing eye is at the dollar is something very similar. It looks like an octagon. It's in fact more like homeland sick purity than anything else, if you ask me. Homeland sick purity. I mean, if there wouldn't be any police and any government, the American people would wipe them off the streets in like three days. Gone, bye bye forever. You know, not MS 13 forever, but bye bye forever. So it's just as the Mafia, it's, it, they're all Mason gangs, you know, so on the t in the top they're real Masons, and I'll explain you why and how. That's why there's a pyramid. Imagine yourself Nazi Templar of Octagon in Afghanistan, with one of your organization's branches called CIA, the Cocaine Import Agency, and sitting on top of all these bags of, full of opium. It's no problem getting the dope into the US of A because you control all logistics. But how get it on the streets back home? Well, you still have some contacts from Iron Gate, El Salvador and Nicaragua. Some contrast from the other side too. Many of them already hate the US because of what America did in Central America. And during the 12 year civil war from 1980 to 1992 in which 100,000 El Salvadorians were murdered by government uh, death squads and backed up with uh, weapons uh, and other things by the, U uh, the United States, the CIA and Israel and displacing 1 million people of whom most ended up in the United States. So there's no more respect and all psychological barriers gone, leading the way to distribute drugs to the American youth. So you found yet another Nazi Templar group called MS Mason 13, with your man on top dist distributing the dope, harvest the money and trade guns for what the, the gang members earned. And the interview by Ross Camp, also Blood and Crips admit, they get the guns from the cops. Well, this is Octogon, and MS-13 is, in fact, very Swiss. And no Agent Orange against poppy fields in Afghanistan, eh? Because Agent Orange is only against people and children. This is also why SEAL Team 6 Extortion 17 was murdered, because they knew too much. First tortured, then cremated, to eliminate the physical evidence for forensics. Well, you don't need much forensics, though, to recognize some tormented faces with the mark of, e of agony imprinted all over their expressions, still visible after death, because of days of torture and waterboarding. The same for Osama bin Laden, this true saint who stopped the opium trade in Afghanistan, so they had him terminated, while Obama enjoyed the show in the White House TV room, live on TV, how a defenseless, unarmed old man gets assassinated and the entire family wiped out and gunned down with it, of Osama's best friend Al-Kuwaiti, and children shot to pieces by ultimate gun violence. And the next day he, Obama, goes on TV to brag about it and say there's too much gun violence in the country. I need to collect your guns.
Now he, Obama, claims airstrikes to kill an entire generation of young Muslims who want to create their own Islamic State and not under US-British control or from some CIA dictator by the name of Saddam Hussein. Now using the argument for war and mass murder just because of one or two fake beheadings of some US journalists putting on his tough president face saying We'll revenge every American killed. And orders immediate airstrikes because of only two reporters. While many more unarmed American kids with their arms up get gunned down by their uniformed slaughter gang with their snipers and armored cars roaming American streets. So you don't really mean every mur murdered American. Eh, Mr. President? Only when it suits your politics, eh? Hundreds of unarmed Americans get murdered by the police every year, like in, in the Swiss belt, Ferguson. So here's where the Air Force should focus its airstrikes, and not over there. And Obama is of Swiss descent, a Swiss American from a town called Ried, in the canton of Bern and the octagon fifth column sleeper cell. Just as this guy here who loves the motherland of all the confederates and never criticizes it. I want to see a Swiss system. Well, I want to see a Swiss system. Uh. Europe. I want to see a Swiss system. William Cooper says in his book Behold a Pale Horse the headquarters of the international conspiracy is in Geneva, Switzerland. The headquarters of the international conspiracy is in Geneva, Switzerland. Yes, Switzerland was founded by the Templars from Octogon, with all their no good NGOs in Geneva and that extraterrestrial thing called CERN in Geneva. And here in Central America and back where we started with MS Mason 13 megaliths, literally meaning big stones of the ancient aliens, have been discovered with a Swiss cross on it. A perfect Swiss cross on a megalith. And the megalith period is about five, between 5,000 and 15,000 before Christ. So what is it doing there? And like in a perfect circle, we are back where we started in El Salvador. With the drugs trade and all the crimes going on. MS is Mason. Mason 13 with Swiss crosses. So if you want to see this video, here it is at 30, 31 minutes, and here's the channel name, and this is the name of the film, and here's the Swiss cross. I haven't watched it, only this here, because somebody, a good man, sent it to me, a good person just sent it to me. This is incredible. This is what I've been telling you. I want to see a Swiss system. And the Swiss flag is the only flag in the world which is a square. Uh, you can see it compared with the other flag here which is long. The Swiss flag is a square. So, uh, so this country is being allowed a lot of things no other country in the world is. I want to see a Swiss system. And it's even protected under U.S. laws. So here it says it's the uh, uh, USC 708, the Swiss Confederation Coat of Arms. And it, says it has equal arms and lines on a red ground. So, you know, if, if you make it differently, like in a, on, on a long cloth maybe or something, you go to prison. For not more than six months, but at least for this damn flag, 
of Octagon, you go to prison. Because they rule the U.S. I want to see a Swiss system. And cold, heartless, extremely organized, always clean and neutral. They are indeed hiding everything from us. Oh yeah, Obama declared this week that Switzerland does not have to pay that $2.6 billion fine of Credit Suisse, the biggest fine ever to which a bank has ever been sentenced, or a small present to the motherland. Hey? Here you can read the entire article. So this was um, a few days ago on uh, uh, September 12th. Well, that was yesterday. This is this is going on now. And this is in German. But here you can see that the London Business School has proven that the Credit Suisse. Um, until 2013, they spent about 15.5 million dollars for lobbying in Washington, so they wouldn't be sentenced, so they wouldn't be fined. And I thought some months ago, I thought, well, they did it, you know. Somebody, you know, fined the Swiss banks and the, the IRS, and the Swiss pleaded guilty for a U.S. court of law a month ago or two months ago. Uh, so they're not really, I thought, well, they're not really too big to fail. But uh, apparently um, Obama had already something else in mind. And uh, they're not going to, they're not going to have Switzerland pay for it. And this is what he probably thought. You know, when the IRS and the U.S. Uh, Justice Department work so hard, you know, to get the, uh, the Swiss criminal Nazi banks fined. This was his plan. I want to see a Swiss system. 